Okay, um, I've decided that uh, after what happened in the last pheasant shoot, I'm going to have to replace this firing pin. Um, it's the bottom pin of those two. Um, this is my Browning uh, B525. Um, it's B525 Prestige. It's a grade 5 Browning, but um, yeah. The uh, uh, first thing I'm going to do is to take off, have a kick ease pad on it and uh, I'll just undo the two screws in there um, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, alright, that is the pad off. Now if I shine it down in there, oh, hopefully you can see that the stock bolt holding the stock on, oh, I can't get a good angle on it, it's actually a flat screwdriver, there it is, it's a flat screwdriver as well as a hex bolt, so um, I'll just use a big long uh, flat headed screwdriver and unscrew that to take the stock away from the action. Okay, I've now got the, I've now got the uh, stock off and I'm looking at the two pins I think just in there, that one that's a little bit brown, a little bit rusty, is the pin that's holding in the bottom firing pin. Um, I'll try and get you, if I can set this torch somewhere, I'll try and get it a better, go point at it a little bit better too. Okay, I've sort of set the torch shining straight in so I can point things out a little bit better uh, to you. Now, if I, that there, just, it looks a bit rusty underneath that is the bottom firing pin and that is the little locking pin there that is holding it in place I need to knock that little pin out to take that out and then there's a spring in there as well a return spring um, and I have a replacement of both bought so that uh, yeah I didn't think I'd take any chances if I'm going to take one out I'll replace them both so yes that's not looking the healthiest in there hmm I'll need to clean that up well and oil it well. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I finally got the pin and the spring out. Um, it wasn't easy. What I did first of all, you can see the bent, um, the bent pop rivet there. I tried to hammer it out of the hole with the bent pop rivet. It didn't work. Uh, it bent the pop rivet. Um, so I tried again and put this light down. <clears throat> what I got, so the light's doing strange things. That's better. What I got the next was this. Um, it's just a little sort of punch. And I was able to get it down so far. And once I got it down to a certain point, um, I then resorted to um, a little bit, my smallest Allen key. Uh, out of my Allen key set. Uh, what was that? Was that two two mil, two mil Allen key, and it was a bit rough on it, uh, but I hammered it. I hammered it, and eventually it came out. Now uh, the pin didn't come out. The pin is actually still there. Um, on the other side, you can see it there. Focus. Uh, just sticking out, just just uh, where my thumb is, there. Um, so I've left it in, but given the state of the bottom one, um, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to clean that hole out. So you can see the firing pin is now away. Um, I'm seriously considering taking the top one out too, just to give it a clean up. Uh, I have only got the bottom uh, a replacement bottom pin and spring and um, so that will be the only new one that's going in the old the old firing pin is a bit damaged and a bit pitted maybe you can see um as well whether it was enough for the misfires i don't know but if i put a new pin in Hopefully that will uh, that will do it out. So yep, 
Uh, next stop, I'm going to clean out the hole uh, as well as I can and um, put it, oil it and then put in the, the new spring and the new pin and um, hopefully that will help. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, that's <clears throat> that's the new firing pin in and uh, I've taken the other one out and cleaned it too and I've cleaned up all around the whole action um, as well. So all that remains now really is to put the gun back together um, which is just a reverse process of what I did before and then uh, <clears throat> I won't get a chance to try it out. I'll maybe try it out uh, on the ducks uh, at this weekend if I, if I get a chance to get at them. Um, but hopefully that's the, the clicking cured uh, just by replacing the, uh, the firing pin in there, the bottom, the bottom barrel firing pin uh, on spring. So we'll see. Okay, um, this, that's the first time I've done that. I've never done that before. <clears throat> in total that took me, including searching for suitable tools and all the rest, I'd say in total it's taken me 20 minutes. So it's not a big job, it's certainly worth having a crack at yourself. Um, as I say, this is a Browning B525. Um, yeah. Okay, right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.